Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are gonna see boolean field. Okay, so what is boolean field first of all? So boolean basically means the value can be passed only between true and false, nothing else. Okay, there are only two values which we can pass in a boolean field, which is true and false. Okay, so boolean field is or can be rendered in a checkbox form in the templates okay so if a particular user check the particular box then the value will be passed true if a particular user don't check the particular checkbox then the value will be passed as a false okay so just to not to confuse you guys i'll just write comment over here i'll say care Field. then here I will say integer field just copy and paste that and here I can say float field okay once this is done we need to go to models.py and here we need to create one more field which is is underscore employed equals to models dot boolean and the default value of for this is gonna be false okay once this is done let's copy this variable before that let's do one thing python manet.py make migrations and migrate sorry yeah done now Let's come over here. Let's say is employed equals to boolean sorry forms dot boolean filled and I'll just copy this one, paste it and comment it. Now to save this particular field we need to copy this variable. Then let's go to views.py. Now here we need to write is employed equals to forms dot not forms it form dot clean underscore data and paste that variable name. Now here I'll just indent this properly so you can understand it more easy way. All right, I'll write comma and I'll say is employed equals to is employed that's it and save this one now let's clear this terminal i'll say python manet.py run server press ctrl and click on this link go to employee now we have this field now if i say check and write some salary one zero two the score of this particular employee is going to be 10 and the employee name is Yash. We don't submit. The data has been saved. Now let's go to admin panel, employee and object 4. You can see employees is true. Is employee is true. Then the employee name is Yash. The salary is this and the score of the employee is this. Okay. I hope you got idea about this one. Now, if you have installed the latest version, this is just an additional information guys. If you have ad, uh, installed the latest version of the Django, then you can now turn this admin panel into dark mode, light mode and dark mode, both. See, if you click on this, it is gonna be into dark mode. If you click once again, it will automatically, you know, patch the current theme of the system which is into dark or a light and automatically adjust the theme and if you click one another time it is gonna be in the light mode okay so this is something new in the latest Django version okay now once this been said let's go back over here now what are the properties which the boolean field accepts First is require, second is visit, third is label, 
fourth is initial and fifth is help text okay i am not going to add help text because i have explained you how you can use help text and what is help text okay so i'm not going to do that and uh, i'm also not going to do initial because we can pass only two or a false in initial and you can do it easily and we have already used this plenty of time so i'll not be using these two fields but we can use this label and widgets and require i mean require is also not necessary if you want to uh, add this uh, particular field in a required category then you can write require equals to true or false okay so let's see widget so i'll say widget equals to forms dot checkbox okay this is something different so whenever you use boolean field in a django form you need to add checkbox while you are passing the class to the widget okay so widget equals to forms dot checkbox then give parenthesis and say a double t r s pass the dictionary and you can just simply copy this class sorry just copy and paste that one over here done and here in the label i'll just copy this label and i'll say is employed just save this one you need to pass comma over here and we are done so if i come over here and refresh you can see okay so we are doing some mistake over here let me remove this class okay let me go to getbootstrap.com I don't think so we have any class for the checkbox let me go to form control select checks and radio okay so we yeah we do not have any class but we can write this class here we can write this one just come over here write class and form check import okay just save and come over here refresh and we have this one okay yeah the css has been applied now okay so let's write uh, gnin then we can write salary 106 and the score is gonna be 9 and if i click on submit okay let me increase the limit for this particular field or i'll just remove the limit okay i'll just comment this one refresh i'll say gnin and salary is gonna be very high and the score employee score is going to be 9 and yeah he is employed and i will just click on submit okay let's go to database refresh and here the he is employed the score is 9 everything is perfect now okay so well i guess this is it for the boolean field okay so i hope you got idea about this particular field too so in the next video we are gonna see date field and after that we are going to see date time field okay so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one thank you